Greetings, and we trust you've had a good week so far as we come to this last day of this week. And we have been talking about Jesus' teaching on faith. We're just outlining or highlighting certain aspects of what Jesus taught concerning having faith in God. And we're going to continue this next week. We're going to continue to highlight uh, some of the key points or key things that Jesus taught about faith. Now, today, I want to bring us to this, bring our attention to this. That Jesus taught us one of the ways that we exercise faith is through prayer. But he also taught us how to do that praying. Mark eleven twenty four. he said, whatever things you ask when you pray, Believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Or in Matthew 21, 22, he said, Whatever you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. So, here we see Jesus telling us that we can exercise our faith in God through prayer, which is us conversing with God, is talking to God, is asking for something in, this, this, in these particular references. So it says, whatever you desire. So remember, we've already said that desire is an important aspect of having faith in God. So you're desiring something, whatever you desire, you're desiring for your healing, you're desiring for, some God, for something that God has promised to do to take place in your life. So whatever you desire, when you pray, so that means now you're talking to God about it, you're going to God and you're asking for it. He said, believe, and that's where faith comes in. Believe or have faith that you receive them. Believe that you receive them. You have received it. And then he says, you will have it. So what must I believe? Or what must I have faith? My faith must come to this place where it says, I got it. I must believe that I have received it. Not that... I'm going to receive it or that it might come in the future. That's not believing or the kind of believing Jesus taught us to do. He said, believe that you have received it. Believe that it's already granted to you. Believe that it's yours. How? In the spirit. That God has said it's yours and it is yours. It means your faith is the conviction of things not seen. Your faith gives you the confident assurance that it is done believe that you have received it, it's yours. It's in your possession by faith. Then Jesus said, you will have it. So Jesus taught us, this is how to pray, how to pray the prayer of faith, or to pray in faith, if we want to receive what God has promised. When we pray, when we pray, we believe that it's done. It's ours, and then we will have it. I want us to practice that. That's how we pray pr the prayer of faith. Or that's how we exercise faith in prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for teaching us very clearly how to exercise faith in God. The words we speak and the prayers we pray. Teach us to practice this, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.